the importance of network performance measurement cannot be overstated because uh, it is something which is related to ensuring that a certain quality of service is provided to the users uh, who are the customers or the subscribers of a certain network provider and a certain service provider. NGN looks at it very critically and there are certain network elements and functional entities which together work to implement the performance measurements. The management of performance measurement is, uh, is a very crucial aspect that needs to be understood in detail from the perspective of NGN. So we'd look at uh, what are the service delivery scopes because these scopes are going to determine um, the complexity of uh, performance measurement and managing it. Then we'd look at the network elements uh, partitioned in the form of segments and we'd look at the overall management model. Uh, it is now obvious that uh, performance uh, measurement uh, in NGNs is very crucial to provide quality of service based um, services to the end users. In terms of the functional entities which are required uh, to perform these measurements, um, there is NGN recommendation uh, that comprises three functional entities uh, starting from the bottom going to the top in the form of a hierarchical tree. Uh, there is a functional entity known as the performance measurement execution functional ent entity. It means this is the functional entity uh, that actually implements the performance measurement. Um, then we have the uh, whatever measurements are made are sent to some kind of uh, processing server. It is again another functional entity. So it is the performance uh, uh, measurement uh, processing functional entity. So whatever is processed and uh, the conclusions made are shared with the network administrators and with the policy makers uh, through a functional entity which is hierarchically at the top. It is known as the uh, performance measurement reporting functional entity. So uh, we can think about the root node as PMR. Uh, then we have multiple uh, PMPs and then we have the PMEs at the leaf nodes. The management of performance uh, measurement is something that has to be dealt with very wisely because it is going to have a toll on the overall network traffic. Usually the network traffic is, uh, uh, is, is dedicated or it is uh, uh, normally um, assumed to be uh, solely for the end users. But from the uh, operational management viewpoint, uh, these measurements are going to have their own toll. So some kind of uh, a wise um, organization and management for these measurements is essential. So what uh, the NGN community does is they uh, actually have thought about segmenting or uh, partitioning the end-to-end -end network uh, between uh, two user terminal equipments in the form of network segments. Uh, each segment can be assigned to an ind independent administrative authority uh, a different network uh, manager uh, who is responsible for maintaining quality of service. Uh, this quality of service provisioning through the performance measurement is now in the context of uh, basically getting the active logs of the network. So uh, in order to do that, the live performance is measured through some kind of query or probing mechanism. So active probe is initiated and then live measurements are made. And uh, after this process is done to the satisfaction, then this probe is terminated. Uh, so this sending out uh, probes and receiving the responses to these probes has an overhead. Uh, sometimes uh, in certain situations for certain users and uh, certain traffic types, this kind of uh, interventional uh, uh, probing is not recommended. In that case, uh, some Passive measurements uh, can be used. Uh, passive measurements are actually uh, non-invasive and uh, uh, the traffic, which is user's traffic, is logged uh, in terms of their headers and uh, the active routing tables are uh, logged and copied uh, 
for subsequent usage by the functional entities that we have already seen. So uh, correspondingly, when we look at uh, the uh, performance measurements, these performance, performance measurements would have their scope corresponding to the scope of the service for which we are interested in collecting these uh, measurements. So uh, the services uh, can be thought to be um, delivered to a certain scope. Uh, now the uh, innermost scope is basically uh, edge to edge and the outermost or the end to end is the terminal equipment to terminal equipment. So the edge to edge uh, service uh, scope is uh, where the services uh, extend to the uh, network provider's edge. Uh, in this case, the network provider uh, edge is a gateway. So uh, when the services are confined to the uh, uh, up to the gateways, uh, it means that uh, the network measurements would be correspondingly measuring the performance of the service provisioning only to this extent. Then we have site to site. Uh, site to site actually means uh, the site where the user is connecting to the network through the connectivity service network. So uh, the customer premises network, which is connecting to the uh, connectivity service network, uh, is the um, scope for site to site. Uh, for the terminal equipment to terminal equipment, uh, the uh, uh, services actually extend to the um, customer premises uh, from the customer pr uh, uh, premises network uh, to the uh, customer equipment. In that case, uh, if we are looking at the service delivery from TE to TE, in other words, we are looking at the end-to-end -end scenario that includes site-to-site -site and edge-to-edge. -edge. So it, it reflects the aggregated performance of all the segments combined. Let's look at the seemingly complex but very insightful illustration of the overall model for performance measurement. Here we see that we have the customer premises network at the bottom. We have CPNA on the left hand side, CPNB. Then we have a customer premises network connecting to the access network through the edge. It is known as the, uh, <clears throat> the connectivity service network. Uh, the access network is then connected to the core network through its own gateway. Then we have uh, the transit network or the intermediate network that can connect multiple cores. So uh, we can actually think about we are going to have customer premises network for sure. We would have uh, one or more access networks. We could have one or more core networks. We could have zero or more transit networks. Now, if you continue looking at here, uh, you would notice that uh, the scope of uh, service delivery is uh, shown here as well. For instance, we have the TE to TE scope, which is the end-to-end -end scope. Then we have the site-to-site -site scope that is, uh, you can see here we have edge-to-edge. -edge. And then we have the last one that we can see the overall transit segment. So we have... Uh, multiple scopes. You can see here that these scopes correspond to the uh, connectivity uh, between the terminal equipment and the networks which provide service to it in order to reach the other terminal equipment. You can see here there is something interesting you see here known as demarcation point. So we will talk about demarcation point, what is it and how it can be used as a reference point where these measurements can be made. The segments actually uh, are nothing but uh, the portions of the end-to-end -end network, which is uh, split into uh, uh, tangible and administratively uh, uh, provisionable uh, networks, subnets. So we can say that segments in NGN actually include all the access technologies, uh, uh, including DSL, Ethernet, STH, PDH, lease lines, whatever. Um, these segments actually uh, could be the ingress or egress access core transit etc now you can actually see i didn't comment on it at back then but when we have the calling party and the called party 
from the calling party perspective we are talking about the egress where the request is being sent out and the calling party is where the traffic is coming in so it is the ingress segment so what are these demarcation points a demarcation as the name implies is to identify or label or earmark something these are basically the points which are the network elements um which are located on the edge of the connectivity of different networks uh, for instance if we have an edge node in the access network which is connecting uh, this uh, access network to the core then this particular uh, uh, device a network element like a switch or a router is going to be the demarcation point the demarcation point is place where uh, uh, the measurement can be made so usually the demarcation points are uh, 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 measured in uh, pairs so we have the ingress demarcation point and we have the egress demarcation point and we look at the scope of service uh, from the point of view of the ingress and egress demarcation point uh, according to the scope 